Okay, we log in in with one, two, three, four, which I've set as your password. Uh, again, in supervisor menu, if we want to know what tickets we've done during a certain period, we can choose dates and we can go, I want to know what tickets, what the tickets have been created between there and there. And then again, I can print that. And it comes out, it says ticket audit. Ticket audit and the dates between. It's always handy in case you want to see um, what tickets have been issued during a certain time and to who. Likewise, the same with the cash audit. It's the same thing. You choose the dates, start from and end uh, day. And again, you can print those. It tells you the method, that how it was paid, who served them, how much they paid, and the collection number, and the time, uh, and the ticket number. So it's quite good for security. If you want to know what is due for collection on a certain day, for instance, if there, I want to know if there's anything due for collection on the 28th, between the 28th and the 28th, so that's one day. Oh, look, there's one item that we did as a test that is due for collection. That's handy if you want to, and you can print that. Uh, if you want to know what orders you have to get ready for that day, then you can print um, collections. Print work in will print the work that's um, in the shop waiting to be done. Return to till returns to till. Log back in, go back to supervisor, no sale, Oop. opens the till drawer. You will have a key as well that you can just open the till drawer. And then if you want to set payouts, so if you want to take money out of the till, you can create payouts for instance. Pay for the windows, go okay. How much? Three pounds. You print a little ticket here and you can take the money out of the cash drawer and put that little ticket in. You can get a payout report to see what's been paid out. You can set the float and then to cash up. Uh, the way we cash up is we don't enter what's in the till. We simply press OK and Yes, and it tells us the system tells us what's in the in the cash drawer. You can, if you have staff, you can double check that what's in the cash drawer is the same as what the system says. If it's got a minus sign here, for instance, that would indicate that there's not as much in the cash drawer as the system says. So therefore, some money is missing. We don't do that because we run the shops ourselves um, and we, we're not bothered about that. If you're really bothered, then fill this section in on the left. That's my till drawer just opening. Okay, uh, and then quit closes the program back to your main screen. Next video.